One time my wife was uh, nursing vasectomy. <laughs> <laughs> 4 a.m. He had a nightmare. Nightmare. My wife can't move, so she's elbowing me. Go get him, you know. So I run up to his room. I was dead asleep, man. I barely make it up there. I'm rubbing his back. It's okay, buddy. It's all right. It's okay. He's like, please stop talking. I'm sorry. Am I keeping you awake? No, that smell coming out of your mouth. <laughs> I walk back down, my wife goes, what happened? And I said, well, I got myself a joke. <laughs> got me a little girl now, though. Changed my whole life. It is rocking my world, man. It is rocking my world. You know, I stand up here, you know, I, I see women from up here, you know, kind of look at you and go, man, check that out. Now I got to go, man, it's somebody's daughter. <laughs> and all you guys are punks, you're all punks. <laughs> Some punk's gonna show up to date my daughter. I figured out. First boy that shows up, I'm just gonna beat him senseless. That way, rumor will spread that vasectomy's dad's a freak. <laughs> For the record, my wife hates those vasectomy jokes. She's like, what if she grows up and hears them one day? I'm like, well, they probably pay for her car. She'll be all right. <laughs> So I got me three babies, and they're great babies, which is fortunate because we're not really good parents. <laughs> not bad parents, we're still new parents. We have no idea what we're doing, man. People always ask us, you know, like, hey, do they sleep through the night? And we're like, as far as we know. <laughs> kind of stupid questions. <laughs> don't you hear me at night? Now I'm gonna turn the fan on. <laughs> Daddy has a tea time. <laughs> three kids, done it three, not doing four. Ain't doing it. My truck only holds three. <laughs> Can't sell my truck for no baby. <laughs> Clap you young kids. Who has young children in the crowd? Clap young people. Yeah. Yeah. You guys right up front, how many kids you got? Three. three. What are the ages? 1916, four. <laughs> You're an idiot, man. 1916, and then what? Bad New Year's Eve or something? Man, how did you not have a stroke when that happened? Honey, we need to talk. Turn blue. So it's totally different though, man. 19 and four, totally different raising them, right? Totally different. If you got young kids, you, you just raise them right, all right? You spank them, all right? Pop them. You get home tonight, just wake them up and pop them, all right? <laughs> spank your kids. I'm over you people. <laughs> I see you moms all the time going, if you do that one more time, I'm like 10, kids done it 10 times, I've been here 10, 10 is more than one, ain't it? <laughs> If you got spanked growing up, clap. Clap if you got spanked growing up. We're okay. Everybody's okay. We protect our kids too much. Car seats, I give you 100%. But like bicycle helmets, come on. Bobby can't ride a bike, that's Bobby's fault. If you never wore a helmet, clap. Never wore a helmet. We're okay. Bobby ain't here because Bobby ain't supposed to be here. That's why there's so many stupid people running around. They all wore helmets growing up. No way to thin the herd, people. Bicycle helmets and airbags, all the dumb people are with They're still here. Sports aren't the same either. You notice that? 19 years old, you had four and got it. I mean, sports are crazy. I coach Jackson's baseball and basketball teams. They've never won a game. He has seven trophies. <laughs> We 
We just finished baseball season. They went 0 and 12 again. They line up for their trophies. I couldn't get them out, man. They all line up. Hey, where's our trophies? I go. You know what? You don't get one this time. How come? Because you're a loser. Now put your helmet on. Get out of here. Go get your snack. Who started snacks? Never had my snack my entire childhood. Let me get a garden hose. Real lucky it was in the shade. You know, sorry, snack soccer. Soccer's the demise of our youth. Oh, because you can have a snack. Yeah. Because <laughs> you can have a snack when you're playing soccer because your hands are clean. I'm very blessed though. My wife is a great mom. great mom. She's a great wife. She's gorgeous. She's smarter than I am. She's funnier. Overmarried. Because you want overmarried, right, fellas? Yeah, you want your buddies walking up going, dude. Not dude. <laughs> my wife's like most wives. My wife can find anything. Jackson lost his DS in my truck the other day. He and I went go looking for it. My truck ain't dirty. It ain't in there. Came in and go, honey, not in there. She's like, well, let me go look. I'm like, well, go look. Oh, she was in the driveway when I said that. I'm not stupid. Man. She's back in 30 seconds, I swear. She goes, it's right there. She's like, man. She hands it to Jackson, walks off. He looks at me and goes, how does she do that? I go, well, she's a witch.